Okay, so this is part two of that demo um, where I'm going to show you how to do some more like fun things with your pieces in case you wanted to make any kind of like pedestals or put things in a frame or put things, you know, <laughs> coming in and out of walls if you wanted to have more of like a surrealist kind of gallery. Um, so once again, if you were going to put it on some type of pedestal, I would just look up like gallery pedestal images. Gallery pedestal images. There's a ton of different kinds. Um, the most common one is going to be this like white obelisk style thing. And I already have this picture saved, but again, if you press and hold, you'll get the add to photos option and that's what you'll do. So in here, at this time, I'm going to press that add a photo button, the mountain with the plus. I'm going to put in this little pedestal and I'm going to leave it that size for now. Actually, I'll make it just a tiny touch smaller and I'm going to put it on this side. You can choose placement before or after you do your erasing and whatnot. And I'm going to erase out the shadow on this one as well. Now you should notice I'm doing short strokes and not a lot of back and forth. Yeah. I'm going to zoom. It's a little too much. I'm going to make my eraser a little smaller. And actually I'm going to switch back to this. This one here because I like that softer edge and how it's the same texture. So this way it doesn't have that funky kind of fuzzy edge that the cashmere eraser gives you. If you're having a hard time because the uh, <laughs> background picture is kind of the same color, you can always hide that background picture and that little circle on the bottom of the layers menu, you can change that color. That way you can really see where you're erasing and what you're erasing. So I'm going to move it just a little. And again, I'm just getting rid of that kind of fuzzy edge because I don't really like it. Now, my lines are not super straight. You can use the predictive stroke tool as you do this, and it'll kind of fix those strokes, especially if you're trying to make them nice and straight. So right now you'll see that it's like undoing a little bit of my strokes each time as it's like, I don't think you meant to do that. Unlike that one. All right. Now if I turn this picture back on, I can't even see that background. Cool thing. If you notice in the bottom here where it's all super well lit, it's all an even value, but you can see in the corners, like where the wall meets the floor, there's a kind of shadow. Fun times, you can take in this little circle icon, there's this color dropper tool, and I'm gonna grab that dark gray, and I'm gonna use this little spray tool making sure that I'm on my background layer just to give a little little shadow to this gallery thing this pedestal again not required just a fun thing you can do and then I have to put something on that pedestal so I'm gonna grab that's the same one I'm gonna grab a different I'm going to grab this one. Done. 
Again, I'm gonna grab my eraser, make sure it's nice and big, so I can erase out a lot to start with. I apologize if that noise in the background is distracting. My kitty cat is trying to get my attention. Chewing on stuff on my desk. Oh, too much. A little smaller still. So you've already seen this part of the demo, but if you need any reminders. The downside of what I took this picture against is that it's very obvious when I don't erase it. Since it's that writing and whatnot. Okay, I think that's probably good enough. And now again, transform tool, the four arrows, and I'm going to shrink it to the size it needs to be to sit on this pedestal. Now again, if I wanted, I could go on this pedestal and use that shadow that I grabbed so that I can put a cast shadow on there. I can change the colors of this picture so that it looks more like it actually belongs in this space. Oh, too green. Yes, a little. That's probably good enough. Now, the one other thing that I want to show you, just because for funsies, um, is if you wanted to make things look like they're like coming out of the walls, right? If you know of the game Portal, this is kind of what my joke is referring to. So I'm going to create a little circle. And actually, I'm just going to erase since it's blue behind there anyways. And then I'm going to use this tool and I'm going to make it orange to make another little spot. So portal, it goes in one side, comes out the other. I'm going to grab Honestly, I'm just going to copy one of these other ones and reuse it. So I'm going to duplicate. You don't have to do this. I'm going to transform and move it. Now I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. And I'm going to put it on this bottom edge like this because that's going to just crop it for me. And then I'm going to transform it again so that it's in this part of the portal. And then I'm going to duplicate that first one again and transform, moving it at the same angle that it was before. And I'm trying to make it line up at the same angle that the bottom one was, because then I'm going to transform and put it in here. Now I need to make this a little bit smaller so I didn't shrink it quite enough. So now we've got this kind of <laughs> image of it being falling through the floor and coming back through the ceiling. So with that, three pieces or more, as long as there's at least three, have as much fun or as much professionalism with this as you want and we will have a good time exploring our virtual galleries.